Hey, here's a pro tip we tend to forget. You can't resolve conflict with an emotionally immature person because let me show you how it will go. If they do something that hurt you or made you feel disrespected and you bring it up to them, they will say, geez, are you really gonna make a big deal about this after one time? I mean, that's a little neurotic, don't you think? Maybe you're just being a little too sensitive. But if you hadn't said anything and you let it go for maybe five times before you brought it up and said, hey, so you've done this five times now, it's a pattern. Can you stop doing it because it's hurtful to me? They would say, oh yeah, I guess I'm the bad guy. I mean, I can't do anything right. You just want me to be perfect. And what do you keep in score in a little notebook every time I do something? I mean, that's something a crazy person would do. So since you've been taught that sacrificing your needs for others is called love, since you've been conditioned to believe that overgiving is what gives you value or worth, since you've been programmed that having boundaries isn't very nice, you'll do what so many people do. You'll stay silent and bury your feelings. The only problem is you can't live like that. Your body knows what your mind doesn't. Honesty and vulnerability are necessary for intimacy and connection. And there's no point in being vulnerable with someone who only hurts you, is there? So the resentment and anger just build and build until you eventually explode on them over something small and probably unrelated and then they gaslight you and call you crazy and you end up feeling guilty for being so rude and spend the rest of the day apologizing to them. And I just need to remind you, you're worth so much more than that. You're not a burden. Your feelings aren't a problem that need fixing. You're valuable and you deserve respect and kindness baseline. You're worth so much more than their invalidation or their defensiveness or their excuses or their blame. You will always be labeled as too much to an emotionally unavailable person, too sensitive, too needy, too emotional. No relationship is worth having if you can't be honest and vulnerable and show up as your authentic self. All we can do is communicate our feelings and needs. How our partner responds tells us everything we need to know about whether they are an emotionally safe person or not. An emotionally immature person has no ability or desire to listen or empathize or validate or seek understanding. It will never be a good time for them to prioritize you. There will always be excuses. They won't take any accountability because they can't. Their ego or their shame won't let them. And we can be compassionate towards their difficult life and their trauma and whatever caused them to be like that while also holding them accountable for toxic and destructive behaviors that only hurt you and this relationship. But it's our job to make sure we aren't getting caught up in those destructive behaviors with our own toxic traits like passive aggressiveness or criticism or blame or fighting. You have to be above that. I'm not saying it's easy, I'm just saying it's necessary. Sometimes continuing to fight and over-explaining ourselves to someone who's already committed to misunderstanding us, that's also a sign of emotional immaturity. So what do we do? We practice vulnerability and honesty. We practice showing up as our authentic self. We dive deep into our fears and why we have such a hard time asking for what we need to feel safe or connected or loved. And when someone shows us that they aren't interested in meeting our needs, we believe them and we get professional help.